Hello guys! Welcome back to another Star Stable Update Wednesday video. So today, we have a lot of updates to go through. So, apparently the Jorvik Stables uh, open house is back, as you can see we are here right now. And apparently they've updated the open house event. So, yes, we're just going to spend a couple of minutes looking around. Uh, yeah, it looks really, really, really curious. Where's my mouse? Okay, so we re-logged and everything is okay. Um, apparently there is five limited edition horses. So it says that the special, these horses will only be available during the event. Where do we find them? Jorvik Stable. So apparently there's three Lusitanos and two Lus, no, two Lusitanos and three Lippies. I don't know where they are though. I'm perfectly honest. Oh, that is so cool how you run outside and they do that. Yeah, look at the, look how cool that is. Oh, I love that. That's such a cool little thing. Um, okay, well, hopefully we find them once we go around. We're just kind of going to stand here for a second. Um, so, yeah, you have to get these horses during the event or, you know, you it's not going to be a thing. Apparently, they, this can use here to level up your horses. So, let's quickly talk to him. Oh, I can't do this interaction on horseback. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, by the way, we're joined by Night Chaser today. I thought it would be only fitting to bring him out. Welcome to the Rescue Ranch pop-up clinic. To spread the word about our mission to provide care to all Jorvik's horses, I am offering free veterinarian checkups every day during the open house. What do you say, Lexis? Shall, you, shall I take a quick look at Night Chaser? Yes. Oh, that's adorable. He actually does something. That's cool. I like that. It, does he look good? Uh, Night Chaser is in fine shape. I can tell you care a lot about them. Remember that daily care is critical for your animal's health and happiness. But veterinarians like me are here to help your horse when it's feeling low. Uh, I can squeeze in one more checkup if you'd like to have another horse to be checked up on. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, okay, thanks. I uh, don't need that right now. But Night Chaser's all happy now. Wonderful. So yeah, you can come and get free vet clinics, which is nice. Uh, what else? Uh, I don't want to talk to you yet, honestly. <laughs> um, apparently Lucinda's here, I think that's her name. And you can do some stuff. Something, something, I don't really know. This is just a general farm store, okay. I wanted to see about any new clothes or items or anything. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. That's really nice, actually. I like it. Good stats as well. Hmm. Maybe. I'm kind of broke, so... Not yet. Oh, look, they actually have the items on the table. That is cool. Okay, I'm still confused where these horses are. Oh, right here. <laughs> okay, so we have... The two uh, Lusitanos over here, they're pretty, pretty cool. I'm not going to look at them because, again, I have no star coins, but I kind of want to go buy star coins. Um, and these lippies, are they all new different colors? Are they three new colors? I think so. I think so. Interesting. Let me know if they are new colors. I'm really bad at remembering what colors there is and isn't, so... Um, okay, anyway, let's look at Lucinda's tour guide. So, yeah, they've redone a lot. Welcome to the Yorvik Stables Open House. May I humbly offer to take you on a tour of the historical significance of Yorvik Stables. Oh, it's you, Alexis. Hi. Apologies. I'm still practicing my welcoming speech for the guests, and I wouldn't have thought it myself. But this is a lot tougher than it looks. When you, Johanna first asked me if I wanted to volunteer for at this event, I thought the monkeys were biting me. Monkeys? Yeah, did... Oh, apologies. It's a Portuguese something. Meaning it was... I don't, I, don't, I don't know half these words. Sorry. It seems like that one didn't well translate. Shit said. <laughs> Volunteering as a tour guide here is really exciting opportunity. I love history and could talk about this stuff for hours. And talking in front of people makes me nervous though. Even with Sirio by my side. Um, I've only... I've read everything there is to read about this historical landmark. And I love to make sure that I... 
don't bore my audience with too much detail. Looks bored already. Love it. Oh, Sirio, you're not exactly the target audience here. Alexis, could you do a practice tour? It would mean the world to me. Sure, we can do that. Oh, hi, Scarlet! Uh, it would be great if you could lend me your ear. What do you say? Sure, let's go. Are you a knight chaser ready to be entranced by the history, legends, and myster mysteries of the thing in my lobby? Yes. Okay, let's go. Are we doing this? Do I have to wait for her or can I go ahead? Oh. This is the first stop of our little tour, the historical Yorvik barn. Regrettably, this is not the original barn from Yon Yard days. The original barn was lost after an earthquake shook the island in 1871. Uh, granted, it still, make, it still makes this barn over 100 years old and quite an artifact. Uh, one in dear, dire need, sorry, of renovation if you ask me. It's a real fire hazard. True. Um, tell me about the earthquake, why not? Rumour has it that this was no natural earthquake. It was caused by a duel between Maurice Buttergood and Bernard Winterwell something. All the way down in Epona, the two families have been rivals ever since the first Bernard Winterwell led the rebellion against the Butterwoods back in in 1588. The feud escalated over the next 200 years and descendants managed to blow themselves up while dueling in front of their dynamite factories. <laughs> Very smart. Yovian history can be a bit strange sometimes. Shall we continue? Yeah, actually this is really cool. I really really like this. I wish they had this in other areas too. Where am I going? Oh, we're going this way. Do, 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 do. There's so much life here. This is the old riding hall. It used to be the center of all equestrian events here at Jorvik Stables, but it cl it's been closed for ages. There have been all sorts of rumors why it has been closed for so long. The variety of theory the the, the, the variety of theories is quite impressive. Um, it pretty much ranges from uh, proprietor. I don't know to being broken to being haunted. Something I don't know. Haunted. Love it. A little. The story goes that the ghost of Herman's great 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 aunt, apparently she was a super successful equestrian and competed in all classes. It was frowned upon at the time that a woman could compete and with a regular saddle and boot. Um, but she was strong willed and very ambitious, so the night before the Grand Prix du Jorvik. This is difficult for me. Um, she was up late, up late in this very riding hall, trying out her choreography, choreography, Cho choreography, whatever, um, until late at night. Uh, then, uh, then says that in the morning she was nowhere. Then says that in the morning she was nowhere to be found, but that a pinkish dust still marked her footprints on this very day. Interesting. I haven't seen a ghost around here. Why does my horse keep slowing down? Come on, night chaser, we can do this. Here we go. The Grand Outdoor Arena, home to several grand competitions. Um, and the horse market when it comes to town. Apparently, it is also used to be a popular stage for concerts. This place is actually quite old. Apparently, this very ground used to be where the nation's assembly were held dating back to the 14th century. Interesting. That was a long time ago. Indeed, it was in 1306 a that your world? <laughs> I'm really bad with names. Day was formally introduced as an annual assembly of the clan chiefs. This place was both the parliament and the supreme court. So they made laws and ruled on dis and stuff. Every three years, they elected a new law speaker to oversee the assembly and to rule in case of disagreements. The law speakers lived dangerous, dangerous lives. People were a lot less friendly back then, if you catch my drift. Oh, you're such a clown, Sirio, and I still love you. Wow, this is like a real life tour. Oh, okay. 
Uh, also, I do think there's new races and stuff. Is that someone on a horse, or is that just a... Do -do 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 -do. Am I going behind the wall? I... Huh? If you squint, you can see a glimpse of the most remarkable landmark in South New Jorvik, the lighthouse. Just kidding, it's quite visible. Which is the whole point of a lighthouse, am I right? Yes. Why is this particular lighthouse? Um, it is said that after a particularly, particularly bad, you know, night out on the town, Urban Jarl sailed out into the bay on a bet that he could steer his brig by himself without a crew. It was a cold autumn night, and even though he got out of the harbour, he got lost in the thick fog. According to legend, he saw a golden horse stand on the shore where the lighthouse is now. While turning, while turning, he ran his ship onto the rocks and had to swim home. But he survived. That's good, right? Legend has it that this was the beginning of the downfall of the Yar family. Munch. Your ignorance shocks me. Gold horse? I want to know more about the gold horse. Wait, come back, tell me about the gold horse. I want to know more about that. that. That's interesting. That's interesting to me. I love this, actually. This is actually really, really fun. I like all the people running around as well. Baby! Ah, the petting zoo. Not part of our official tour, but I couldn't resist. Look at those pigs. It's so happy. Uh, on a more related note, though, Yorvik Stables housed a petting zoo back in the 50s. Uh, do you want to guess what the kids could pet back then? Zebras. The story goes that when the first Atlantics came to Jorvik, people didn't know what to do with them. Oh, Icelandics. Icelandic horses? As though they were... Uh, they thought they were too small for adults and too energetic for kids. And the vet were lame when they told it. Ridiculous, right? So they put them in a petting zoo because they were just so pretty and fluffy and calm when handling them. It took them a while before people discovered that these ponies could carry an adult without issue. Nay. Let's move on. I thought, for some reason, I read that as Icelandics, as in, like, people from... I hope that makes sense. I don't actually... I had a second there where I didn't actually know what I was saying. Um, if that makes any sense. I thought they meant like people and I was going to say like, uh, no, no, they meant horses. They meant horses. It's fine. Last but not least, the brood mares. Aren't they gorgeous? Uh, they used to... F they used to focus on Jorvik warm blood horses here. But now they breed character strong sport horses of all breeds. At least that's what it says on the website. What's the historic about the Warm Bloods? The history of the Warm the Jorvik Warm Bloods started with a horse brought here by the first human settlers long before Jon Jarl and the Vikings showed up. Um, they say there were wild horses on Jorvik even before people came here, but that's probably nonsense. Even if you look at the funky coat colors and all that, the horses don't grow tree. Horses don't grow on trees, you know. I presumed wild horses must have come from somewhere until someone proves me wrong. I'll go with that theory that the Celters bought them during the Ice Age when the ice bridge connected Jorvik and Scandinavia. Interesting. Now, you don't want to leave. You want, why am I not surprised? I didn't read that properly. It's fine. It's cool. This is really, really interesting. Oh, do I have to wait for you to get back? Okay. I love this though. I love when you can do the. Is it the levade? I think it's the levade. Uh, okay, let's just. Wow. This actually took a long time. Hello! Um, and that brings us to the end of the tour of historical Jorvik stables. I hope I didn't bamble. That was really good. I actually really enjoyed that. Thank you for letting me practice my guided tour with you, Alexis. I feel so much more confident now. Wonderful! Uh, feel free to look around everywhere at the marvellous event. I tried cuddling that fold at the petting zoo earlier, but Zero gave me a stink eye for a week. Thanks again for helping me. <gasps> that was cool. I like that. That was actually extremely, extremely cool. I will... Uh, yeah, I... <gasps> no. Uh, yeah, I really, really like that, actually. That little tour thing, I didn't think I'd like it as much. I do. I want to come to the petting zoo because I love animals. So, Hi. What is your name? Okay. 
Welcome to Yovik Zavel's Fabulous Petting Zoo. We have a bunch of very friendly animals waiting to get some good pets and warm hugs from you. Okay. Uh, just walk up to them and give them a good scratch. They'll love it. Okay. Night Chasers, stay here. Oh my goodness, 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 oh my goodness. Move. Oh my goodness, hi. Oh, again with the bar. Move the bar, please. Please, game. That's one thing. This bar, can it go up here or like down a bit? Just a little bit. Oh my goodness, we pet the little piggy. It's a little foul. This is the best part of this game. This is all I care about. <gasps> kitty cat. Kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat. Hi, little kitty. Oh my goodness, we actually interact with them. Guys, this is the best. Hi. <gasps> Look at the little fox. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. This is the best, this best part of the update. Best part of the whole update. Nothing else matters. Hi, little sheepy. Hi. Oh my goodness, look at him. I love this. Love this. Is there any more animals? They could have added a bunny. Or a puppy. Can I pet the cat again? Oh my goodness, look how happy she is. I love this. <laughs> I'm so happy. Little piggy, look. We stroke. Oh my goodness. Don't care about anything else in this update, honestly. This is it. This is it. This is it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Night chaser. I think we have to go. Do do do. Okay. That was the petting zoo. There's a cute little like picnic area over here. Wonderful. Apparently we have a quest over here. What was that that just came up on the screen? What? Now playing. Silver. Silver song. Oh, I don't play with game sounds on, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, let's run up this way. I think we only have... Oh, that's a wall wall. Sorry. Night right, chaser. This was fun. I actually really, really enjoyed this. The outfit's really cute. Oh, my goodness. Forward. Here we go. Here we go. Really? Really? Again? Come on. Come on. Um... I like the NPCs that are just walking around. These horses are really pretty. Oh, by the way, they're 949 star coins each. So to get all of them, you need 5,000 star coins. I have 200. So 248. So we're close. We're close. Um, okay. Okay guys, voiceover Alex here. So I'm currently speeding up uh, Johanna's quest because it's pretty much the same, you know, we have to uh, basically find lost items, get the saddles ready, buff saddles, wash saddles, get some people saddled up, take them on a test ride, take some photos of the arena. You know, I think it, I think it was pretty much the same as last year. I went set up the balloons, that's the other thing. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to skip over this just because I didn't really talk through it because <laughs> I've obviously already done it and, you know, uh, I didn't see if there was anything new. So yeah, maybe there wasn't. I still enjoyed doing it, just I didn't know how to talk over it. Plus this video is already like very long. Um, and yeah, honestly, I really quite enjoyed this update. Uh, Lucinda's thing is my favourite. I will get back to you just as we start the new race in the arena, the jumping course. Uh, I believe there's two races. Little, I was, the only thing I did say was I was a little bit disappointed with the, like, 20 and 35 experience that you get for your horses. Uh, that I would have liked to see in a little bit more, but, I mean, I kind of get it, but, I mean, it's an event that's here for, what, like a week or two weeks? I actually didn't check. So, I would like if they up the experience a little bit, so it's like a, ooh, the open house is here, I can get a lot of thingy, rather than just a one day, like, a one day thing, and then, you know, I don't really know. But anyway, I still enjoyed it. I'll get back to you when I started the race. Uh, hi. Ooh. Don't mind. 125 experience. Oh. 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 Okay. Huh. <laughs> I thought this race was going to be in the new course. Okay. Sure. Um. Is there not a new race then? Oh, fireworks. 
Oh, I'm too excited for a new race. Oh well. <laughs> doodle, doodle. I'm doing this really, really badly. Do do do. I ran into it. No, jump. There we go. There we go. Jump, buddy, jump. Jump, buddy, jump. Maybe it's more for like roleplay equestrian event things. Maybe I don't know. I don't do any of that, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be like in this new arena. Oh. Oh well. No. Stop it. No. Okay, hi. Awesome. Yay, I did amazing. Yo, what's up? Are you ready? Uh, Okay, that's not too bad. 125 I can deal with. Is that? Oh, there is a new horse set. Oh, I like it. Interesting. Huh. It's cute. I like it. I like the little, like, embroidered details. I didn't see that. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, I think we're going to end this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely let me know what you guys think about this update. And yeah, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. So I will see you guys then.